Hello all, welcome to NetSet OS. Here in this video, we'll be discussing about the question which is normally asked in the interviews. Petrol pump circular tour. This is one of the question in the lead code. So the question is, there are N petrol pumps with a circular route where the amount of petrol at petrol pump will be denoted with petrol I we have a car with an unlimited petrol pump and a distance dist i to travel from station i to the next station here we need to begin the journey with an empty tank at one of the petrol pump and then we need to return the starting petrol pump index if we can travel around the circuit once in a clockwise direction otherwise we need to return minus one so the question begins here where we have petrol pump at certain distances. Let's say this is A petrol pump. This is B petrol pump with a distance 5 km. Then we have the other petrol pump C at a distance 9 km away from petrol pump B. Then D away from C by 1 km. And then E away from D petrol pump by 2 km distance. Now I have the car with empty petrol. So I can write petrol is equal to 0 at A. Now I need to find out the starting point of my car so that it can travel in a circular path. It should not stop there because of petrol. Rather it should travel throughout everywhere with no deficiency of petrol. So how we can do this? First, we'll be coming out with brute force. Let's say here I have a car where I don't have petrol. So I'll charge my car with 7 liters of petrol so that now petrol in my car is 7 liters. So when it travels towards the second petrol pump, it has traveled 5 kilometer. Here we are denoting it with just a single unit. So if I have 7 liter and if it travels 5 kilometer over here, we are left with 2 liters. We are imagining that 1 liter is going for 1 kilometer. Now I am left with 2 liter in my car. Now while coming to the next petrol pump, I will charge my car with 1 liter. But what I see here, there is 9 km to travel. But in my car, there is 3 liters. So when I start traveling, it will be stuck over here. I won't be able to reach to the next petrol pump. So here, when I started from petrol pump A, let's denote this petrol pump A, B, C, D and this is E. It is not able to reach even to the petrol pump C. So we will cross it as it was not able to reach even to C petrol pump. Here we are talking about it should start from the same point as well as and also at the same point. So let's try from petrol pump B. Here I'll charge my car with one liter of petrol and will start traveling to C. But here I have to travel 9 kilometers. Now with 1 liter, I won't be able to travel 9 kilometers. So I'll drop this point also. Now I'll be starting with C petrol pump. But here I have 0 petrol. So I don't have any petrol in my car. Now here I need to travel 1 kilometer. That means I need to drop from petrol pump C also as I don't have any petrol in my car and it won't be able to reach to petrol pump D also. So I'll start with petrol pump D where I'll charge my car with 11 liters of petrol. Now I'll start going and will reach to the point E as here I have traveled 2 km. So when I reach at E point I have traveled 2 km so in my car now I have 9 liters of petrol. Here at point E I will charge my car with 
4 liter of petrol so now i have 13 liters of petrol in my car now i'll travel to point a and i have covered 5 kilometer so 13 minus 5 will be 8 now in my car there is 8 liter of petrol now at point A, I'll charge my car with 7 litre more. So I'm left with 15 litre of petrol and will reach at point B. So here there is 5 kilometre distance. So 15 minus 5. After reaching point B, I have 10 litres of petrol in my car and there is 1 litre at point B and here I have total 11 liter of petrol. Now I need to travel 9 kilometers. So 11 minus 9. When I reach at point C, I'll be left with 2 liters of petrol. So after coming to point C, I found here there is no petrol in this petrol pump. But I have 2 liters of petrol in my car. So what I'll do, I'll travel 1 kilometer back to my point D. So 2 minus 1 will be 1 liter. So now I have 1 liter of petrol in my car as well as I have traveled in a circular path also by the point D. So when I started the journey from the from the petrol pump D I was able to reach at the same petrol pump without deficiency of petrol and was able to reach here successfully. So this is the brute force approach. Now we talk about its time complexity. Time complexity here I have traveled through all the petrol pumps once. So it is order of n. But what if if I need to check on each petrol pump that means the worst case for it will be order of n square as I'm checking for all petrol pumps that it is making a circular path or not. If I am able to make a circular journey in the first petrol pump itself then it will take order of n but what if if I am able to make from petrol pump E that means I have traveled throughout in all the petrol pumps whether they are making circular path or not. So in the worst case, it will be order of n square. If you have understood this approach, you'll be able to write this code by yourself. If not, let me know in the comment section. I'll give the code for brute force approach in my GitHub link. Now, my question is, can we improve time complexity for this particular question? That means from order of n square, can we make it order of n? If I want to improve time complexity, can I? Let's see the improvised approach. So till here we have seen time complexity to be order of n square. This was because we were going on each petrol pump and was calculating that it is making circular path or not. So the time complexity coming out to be order of n square. Now what if, if I store the value here itself so that when I come for the next time while going for the next petrol pump, I can resume the values here itself. So I'm saying here, if I store the values on each petrol pump so that when I come for the next time, I can resume the same value when I visit this petrol pump for the next time. So, for storing the values, I'll be taking use of S for sum and D for difference. Sum will be the value when my car visits for this petrol pump for the first time, it will be zero. And the difference will be storing the value. When my value get negative, it will be added to this difference. So, starting for sum and difference to be zero when my car is at petrol pump A. Let's name it for each petrol pump. Now when my car is at
petrol pump A sum and difference are both zero. Then they will start their journey and will come to the petrol pump B. Here also there will be sum and difference. Let's put it on each petrol pump. So when my car came to the petrol pump B, it was charged with 7 liters of petrol. 7 minus 5 sum came out to be 2 and the difference will be here 0 as there is no negative value over here. That means there was no deficiency of petrol. Again, I'll start my journey and will come to the petrol pump C. Here petrol was 2 plus 1 equal to 3. But 3 minus 9 as it covered the distance 9 kilometer, 3 minus 9 will be minus 6. As the petrol was not sufficient, here there will be negative value. So I'll fill this minus 6 in diff. And as the value I fill over here minus 6, I need to start my journey. So I'll start my journey from C petrol pump. So when I start my journey from petrol pump C, my car will be fresh with zero petrol. There is no petrol in my car. So when I start my journey from the C petrol pump and will travel the distance of one kilometer. But still, as there was no petrol in my car, some come out to be minus 1 and this minus 1 will get added up to the last difference which is minus 6 minus 1 will be minus 7. So here as the difference come out to be minus 7 I need to start my journey from D itself. Here as my car has no petrol it has started with 0. Now on petrol D there is 11 so sum will be 0 plus 11 11 liters so my car now has 11 liters of petrol so it will start its journey and here coming to E petrol pump there was distance of 2 kilometers so 11 minus 2 is 9 Whereas there was no negative value, so I'll copy this minus 7 here itself. As we are keeping the track, if we are getting the values in negative, we are storing over here in diff. Now I have 9 liters of petrol in my car. Now after coming to petrol pump E, there is 4 liter of petrol over here. So I'll charge my car with 4 liters of petrol so that it is having now 13 liters. Keeping 13 liters of petrol in my car, I travel from E petrol pump to A petrol pump. So when I covered 5 km of distance, I have already 13 liters of petrol in my car. So coming to the A, I have 13 minus 5 8 liters of petrol in my car. Now here when I reached to the point A, this point I have already covered. So I have data stored in my sum and difference. So sum is now 8 and difference is minus 7. So when I check out it comes out to be 1 liter of petrol and the point I have started with is petrol pump D. So after traveling from D petrol pump, I have covered a complete circuit from here. Now let us see the Python program for this. So we are on PyCharm where I will be taking petrol, distance and N the number of petrol pumps which we are considering here. So here I am taking the same number of petrol pumps and the distance between two petrol pumps are given in D which is for distance and P for petrol pumps. Now at the start I have taken sum and difference to be 0 
and therefore we will start iterating for each of the petrol pump by petrol minus distance and if this sum is coming out to be positive we will be adding to the next iteration but if sum is coming out to be in negative then we will add that sum value in the difference and sum will be freshen up to the zero and the starting point is somewhat to know from which point of the petrol pump we are starting with so whenever the sum is coming up in negative we are very optimistic that the next petrol pump will be giving our solution so here we will be giving the start point to be i plus 1 and then we will be performing the same operation till the last petrol pump and thereafter when we have sum and difference if it is greater than 0 we will be taking that particular petrol pump as the starting point else it will return minus 1. So this is the program for petrol pump circular tour. So if you understood this concept, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.